Los Angeles Chargers running back Melvin Gordon. Melvin, how you doing, brother? Good. Man. Listen, handshake strong right there. I'm gonna <laughs> my hand just now. You're familiar with the cold weather we're here yeah. in Minneapolis, Minnesota for Super Bowl 52. How'd you deal with this as a player? You played in Wisconsin, you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. How'd you deal with this? Man, it's easy to deal with when it's all you know. You know what I'm saying? When you're born, when you're born in it, ain't like I was living in Florida and came to Wisconsin. Right. You know, I was born in this, you know, as a little kid, having a snowsuit, the boots yeah. on, you know, the big snow hill in the back. You know, it's just what I'm used to. See, I've been asking a lot of players, they go out there with like no sleeves. And I've seen yeah. a couple pictures of you out there in no sleeves. Yeah, I don't wear sleeves. Who y'all trying to prove y'all tough? To Nothing, bro. I mean, years. personally, I don't wear sleeves just because I don't like to, I don't want to, if I fumble, I feel like I'm going to blame it on the sleeves. Okay, that's fair. So I just, I just cut my sleeves off. When it's snowing, it don't matter what it is. So are, off. are you superstitious in that way? So like if something happens, you're like, okay, I got to take this off. Kind of like Isaiah Thomas yeah, said, it's yeah. no buckets or no shoes. I try, I try not to be superstitious, but I think I am. I think I am. What's one thing that you're kind of superstitious about? Is it cleats? If I play, I play bad in some cleats, I don't wear those cleats no more ever ever and uh gloves yeah. like i have to wear like if i wear white gloves all week yeah. i can't wear blue gloves it's like it's, i don't know because i feel just, like if i mess up it's a feeling i feel like if i go out there and i wear blue gloves i'm gonna fumble for sure now we're here at jaime's record store in minneapolis minnesota obviously with all the records around us who does melvin gordon listen to like before the games me i listen to jr donato okay. i like uzi um, can you do the uzi shoulder rock that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm with, it. I'm, with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, you be killing that. Um, future, I just kind of listen to whoever my cousin like. He real, real big with music. So when yeah. he plays something, I like my most used app is Shazam. Yeah. So I just use Shazam, Shazam it, and then it linked right to the Apple Music, and I just go that. Team, you got a guy doing yeah, one of the best yeah. defensive ends in the game, Melvin Ingram, yeah. who happens to be a rapper as well. Yeah. How would you rate his bars? He hard, man. I like him. You saying like that? Him. Are you like? I'm like, no, no, no. I, I, like, really him. I okay. like him. Okay. I like him. Okay. I like him. I like him though. I like him. It's some people out there where you be like, some, some, some blazers. <laughs> <laughs> So, Some other running backs potentially? Nah, I, yo, you know that, man. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you got some rappers where, you, you know, some people where you just be like, uh, I don't know. But, you know, he actually got this hit, though. He let me hit um, with Tory Lanez. I don't know when he's gonna drop it. Okay. But it's super hard, though. Shifting things back to football, who's the biggest trash talker that you faced when you play? No one really get crazy with me because I don't talk trash. Right. So no one really. So you like, think if you talk trash first, it could get out of hand? Oh yeah, yeah. you got yeah. some players that's gonna run with it now. Are things off limits when it comes to trash talk? Nah. Wait. Everything so, so everything so will go. Everything. Will mama's go. Mama's on the table. All that. Girlfriends. All that. Kids. All that. Why? You can't. That, cause you gotta get under their skin. They feel like they get under your skin, mess up your game. Now nah, I got you. So let's say you a player. If nothing's off limits, I can be like, yo, your newborn baby ugly. That's, you can't say that. That's too bad. I'll be like, that's, that's too bad. That's too bad. You can say that without fighting me on the field. No, something like that. Some guys gonna, some guys gonna get at you now. They gonna get at you now. But you saying stuff is. But I, but it, but it's to get. A, it's it's hey, I got hey, you. Your grandma with potato salad trash. <laughs> See, you can't like that. I laugh at stuff like that though. But that's my personality. Uh, I've been asking a few players these rapid fire questions. Okay. What's the dumbest purchase you made since being in NFL? Like the dumbest. Dumbest purchase. Dumbest, most extravagant purchase ever. I got hustled with a couple things. What you mean you got hustled? Like investments? Nah, nah, nah. nah. I bought a, I bought a, I bought, you a, bought a chain. Some flat I tea? bought a, my first <laughs> chain. I bought. The dude overpriced me, man. I ain't know no better. What you mean? I so, bought a Cuban. I bought a Cuban necklace. How, how, like, that? Okay. He overpriced me a lot. It was my first chain, so I ain't know. So he just saw. Oh, he, he like, got me. He got me. I was so. So how'd hurt. you find out that it was overpriced? You went and got it appraised. Because I seen someone with a bigger chain that cost the same as mine. <laughs> 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 I was so mad. So this is in San Diego where you bought the chain? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, you know they got guys that. that but his, his, his first issue, you bought the chain in San Diego. I've never heard anybody get laced up in San well, Diego. Well, the dude from New York that flew out. Again, I've never heard that. I've never heard that. Yeah, dog, I went and got this ice in San Diego. Wait, what? Dog, Why did you do that? I was hurt by that. I was sick. I was sick. I know. You was hurt. How long were you hurt? I you still sick. sound kind of hurt. I'm still hurt. hurt. You talking about, yeah, I'm still I, talking I about that. I'm still talking about that. I'm with it. Look. I'm still hurt by that. That's uh, a hard L right there, boy. If I was in the league, I had changed just like that, but they'd be fake. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, boo, I paid $150,000. Yeah, you already know. Really, I paid $25. Oh, man. Now, we mentioned Super Bowl. Yeah. 
big game. Yeah. Tom Brady, New England Patriots, taking mm -hmm. over Philadelphia Eagles. Who you rocking with? What you what you thinking? Uh, I want to go with Philly, man. You gonna go Philly? Yeah. Why you? Okay. Is it because of AFC and Tom Brady? You like I'm not rocking. Nah, with it's just everybody tired of Brady winning, man. Yeah. I mean he the goat, man. Just let somebody else shine for a little bit, you know. Plus I got some boys. My boy James White on New England. He got two rings. Uh, I got, you know, I got a couple of Badgers, um, okay. a couple of guys I played with in college. Yeah. Jay and John, my homeboy, okay. uh, Corey, um, Bo Allen. It's a lot of guys on that team um, that I'm super cool with. And, you know, the way they Miami I did Jay this year, yeah. I think it'd be a perfect story if he ended out on top.